What's up everybody? Son of Mel Balja here, uh, bringing you a Mortal Kombat video because I haven't done a Mortal Kombat video in a while. Anyway, these are uh, the uh, old uh, Toy Island 5.5 inch. I think they're either 5 inch or 5.5. Hold on one second. I've got one of my Bible Quest figures here. This is Noah. He's going to help us measure. And he's about he's in a 5.5 inch scale. So so all these are, okay, these, this is a 5.5 inch scale action figure line. Okay, so uh, very obscure line here. Basically, they are the uh, G.I. Joe Mortal Kombat molds just blown up. Except this, and we'll get into that in a minute. This, uh, All right, um, so here you have Johnny Cage, Liu Kang, Sonya Blade, Raiden, Scorpion, and this thing they're passing off as Sub-Zero. Now, um, I thought these were cool because I used to love the, the uh, G.I. Joe line. But these are basically blown up molds by a company, a smaller company called Toy Island. And if you're familiar with G.I. Joe at all, you already know their articulation scheme. I'm going to go over with it with uh, Johnny here. Now they have the uh, joint here at the shoulders. It goes round and round. It goes, you know, up and down. They have the swivel here at the bicep. They have pretty decent elbow articulation. Then they have the uh, little rubber band part there. See there? You gotta be careful not to break that. It'll go all the way around if you you know you want it to, but I try not to. Um, and it's got head movement side to side. It won't go all the way around because there's a thing in there blocking it. It'll look up like not at all. And look up, look down very hardly any. Um, now the legs will go out, go front and back. Well, it won't go all the way back. The little butt thing there hinders it. It's got decent knee movement, and that's it. Basic standard. G.I. Joe articulation. Now, like I said, these are all uh, blown up um, molds of the old G.I. Joe line, which is why I like them. I had most of these as a kid. I got most of them from KB Toys. I got this whole set, except for Johnny, from a really good friend of mine named T. Riddle. Great guy. Um, and uh, I think Johnny's probably my favorite in the set, but Scorpion is a, a close second. Now, you know, as you can see, you know, the, the detail is is okay. You can look at them and tell what character they are. And I do have a stand for Raiden. I just for some reason left it at home. I'm in my office at work and didn't bring but five stands for four figures, but you know, whatever. And here's Sonya in this in this odd little outfit they put her in. But you can tell it's Sonya and uh Luke Kang. Uh I do wish they would have made Luke Kang with the red headband and the red stripe down his pants, you know, but you know it's it's all good. If I really wanted to bad enough I could do it myself. Um, then you got Scorpion and the big, the only two differences between him and the original, uh, three and three quarter inch GI Joe, uh, figure is he, the original GI Joe had white eyes. He has blue, which looked pretty cool. And he doesn't have the little cloth sash here. Now I'm going to get into what I consider the most bizarre part of this line. And I don't have all of them. There are others that, um, are not made. Oh, my screen went out there. Excuse me. I don't, there are others that weren't made in this exact same style. They were just made in like a little, I don't even know how to describe them. It's like Shao Kahn and Jax and Cyrax. I don't have those. But uh, this is what they're passing off as Sub-Zero. And I get these were based on the Mortal Kombat trilogy game that had come out around the time. But what in the world, Toy Island? All right. Um, you can tell it's Sub-Zero because of the slick back hair and the scar over his eye. You know who this looks like to me? If you guys have ever seen the comedy movie, it's a parody movie called UHF. It stars Weird Al Yankovic. There is an Asian character named Cooney who is the host of a show called Wheel of Fish. And if you watch that movie, in fact, go to go right, leave this video right now. Look up UHF Wheel of Fish. This guy, if you put a little ponytail on him, he'd look just like Cooney. You can literally pick, you put this guy's hands in the air. Stupid! You're so stupid! Like, he literally looks just like that guy. I mean, this outfit, I don't know what Toy Island was thinking, guys. I don't know what they were thinking. This is not Sub-Zero's outfit. It's not even close. If it wasn't for being in this line with that head sculpt, I'd have no clue who this was. I'm going to be honest with you. They'd have been better off just using a re, a re uh, like just using Scorpion's body with his head and just painting Scorpion's body like an icy blue, which would actually be cool. I might do that myself at some point. Anyway, what do you guys think of these? Uh, you know, these are pretty basic figures. They're very nostalgic for me because, like I said, they, they they were sold at KB Toys. I don't think KB Toys is even a store chain anymore. I could be wrong, but there aren't any near me, and I haven't seen any in years. But anyway, um, 
I want to give a couple of shout outs for our, this video is over. Uh, there's a couple of guys way overdue for shout outs for me because they give me shout outs in their videos and I get so busy and I shoot my videos on the fly and I don't plan them at all. And I always forget. So while I'm thinking about it, everything comics 101, all one word, he's usually down in my comment section. He has his own channel. He's given me shout outs at least once, maybe twice. Um, he's usually down in my comments. Like I said, he has his own brand of, uh, toy reviews and things of that nature he does please go check him out like and subscribe and my boy red pill animations uh very positive guy very uplifting in the community i think we should all be more like red pill animations he is a great guy um go check out his channel is red pill animations one word you can use, sometimes you can find him in my comments too just every once in a while but you can find him on instagram and on youtube once again under red pill animations and also like i said everything comics 101 Check both of those guys out. Give them like, shares, and subscribe. Give them the love they deserve. Um, and once again, my boy T. Riddle, who I got most of these from, he's like one of my best friends. Great guy to deal with. T. Riddle, bro, you got to get back to doing your reviews on YouTube. You're a very underrated, you know, photographer, but you got to get back on YouTube, bro. I want if if I don't see a video from you in the next couple of months, I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna take a dump on your couch. All right, just is what it is, dog. So anyway. You guys, please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment, Let's Talk Toys. Follow me on Instagram. I'll link my Instagram and my music page in the description below. I may be changing my name soon. I'm kind of tired of the son of my balls. I don't want it to be that connected to McFarlane. Anyway, we'll get into that later. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and as always, peace out.